in this video I'm going to look at a few lathes. This one here, built in 1942, and yesterday I pulled it apart. There's the face, and it's very heavy. It's kind of a scrappy, unfortunately. But inside, I'll show you a few more lathes. So this is where that capstan roll uh, lathe came from. And right opposite it is another big bastard lathe that we've got to get out of here somehow. Hopefully we can find someone to buy this one because it would be criminal to just dump it, chop it up for bits, scrap, because you wouldn't get piss off for scrap, not anymore, not for steel. So hopefully I'd love to take that one, but it's a bit big where this is massive um what are we like three meters long it's pretty big there's a cute little one here so this one i had my eye on as a as a project to do up um it's pretty rusty needs a good bit of tlc but i thought it'd be quite fun and it's not too big It'll take up too much space in the garage have a little lathe to tutu around on so I sort of had my heart set on that, but I think I might have changed my mind because this thing over here, janky as it may look, is a bit more useful. This here is a homemade lathe made by an engineering guy who is no longer of this earth. Um, he's the father of the guy I might be getting it from. Um, it was probably made about 60 years ago. And not only can it be used as a lathe, so got all the, all the bits for the lathe down here. Some chucks and what have you. But set up the way it is, if you have a milling bit in here, set up like this, you can drill holes and tube, that sort of thing. Which is quite a tricky thing to do, often. Um, or you can put milling bits in here, and with this attachment, this head on here, you can mill stuff. So it's sort of a multi purpose mill lathe. Yeah, so I think that's quite cool. Jeez, noisy bastards! Thank you. Um, so yeah, um, maybe gonna take that. It's got a three-phase motor on it, which is of course a bit of a pain in the bum, but I'll just whip that off, chuck a single phase on there, two horsepower, something like that. Good modern motor. Um, probably have to get some new belts, no biggie. And give her a good clean up. See if I can work out what all the bits are, where they all are. Yeah, it's something to play with on those long cold winter nights so i'll just show you around the rest of this workshop while i'm here this this building is a is a uh, quite the quite the work of art um all these concrete blocks were handmade unbelievably here's an old drill press and you won't find any safety guards so if you're one of these osh guys that likes whinging and bitching in the comments you know piss off i don't care nothing's gonna have guards that i'm gonna show you right whole lot of press parts there like i said that's where the other lathe was it were it's half of it's on its way to the scrappy as we speak as i speak so big guillotine here covered in shit love this thing cut 10 mil steel plate fantastic um so there's a storage rack a lot of the machines is used to be oh, there it is sitting over here now this old metal cutting saw here that has cut a hell of a lot of bloody stainless tube over the years a lot of the shit we've already cleared out of here but this building is Oh, I love it. It's got an upstairs as well, which is pretty scary because the boards on the floor are rather rotten, full of borer and what have you. 
All right, you got a spot welder there. This is the polishing room. Part of a welder that we just pulled apart. So yeah, this was for polishing. Now this machine here is quite the doozy. In fact, I'll go down here first. Look at all this shit. So we've got to get all this stuff out. Including that. Mm. Um, there's a tractor over the back there. Can't quite see and I can't bother walking over there. But there's a, it's a, oh, we'll go over there actually. She's a real old beast. I used to drive it when I was a wee lad. Oh, <laughs> oh look at it. What a beauty. <laughs> Still goes, kind of. And a special one under there. But this here is a bit of a beast. This is a press. And it's a big bugger. You can press real high. Like about 600. Which is pretty big compared to most presses these days. But that'll be going to the scrapping, no doubt. If we can get it out of here. It originally came in through the roof, so... It's going to be fun to get out. It's been sitting there for donkey's years and not used. Um, so much stainless scrap. Organ scrapped. All this scrap, 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 scrap. Yeah, and so finally we'll have a... This machine here is a tapering machine. And has caught on fire before <laughs> it goes has a lot of diesel pumping around for coolant and lubricant so you get several parts there as you can see there's a control panel you can move that around so this has giant dies so if you're not sure what a tapering machine is or what I mean here's one here bits of old welders around here so see how this starts off about an inch and a quarter and ends up like pretty good lighting there so so this was mainly used for making staunchions for boats this was a um, boat oh there's one that's got Got the bits on it. So yeah, making stainless fittings for boats. Um, so this was originally a Holden, came from Holden and they use it for tapering axles on trucks and cars. And it has giant rollers and dies. Here's some dies here going to shit, going all rusty. So these are in there and that just belts the living fuck out of everything some of the rollers and things there when this thing is going you can hear it at the end of the street and the end of the street is about a kilometer away it is so so loud so it's an Italian machine and when and you don't even want to be in here it's just ridiculously loud it just bang 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 that's all it does it just belts the living shit out of the steel until it changes shape we've got any um, year on here can't see a year on there about right down here date of test ah oh, it's blank bugger nah, no manufacturing date on there the weight's not on there either because that would be interesting because this thing is going to weigh a heap it's far out there it's just so solid I mean, that is just so, so solid. It's so, so loud. Look at the end of this thing. Look at this wheel. I mean, <laughs> that wheel alone is going to weigh bloody a ton. Christ. Another control panel. Yeah, very cool machine. I would show you some of these things going, but most of them are not in a state of really going at the moment. 
and that one there is just too damn loud and scary. I mean, some of these old welders and stuff are just, look at this thing. Woo. Unbelievable. If you haven't seen one of these, it's quite handy. If you're welding, you can put your, your circular piece in here, and then just with a foot pedal, control it so it turns. And there's a light. So you can have it turning, so you can just weld in the one place, and it turns, so you get a nice clean weld. Very cool little tool if you need it. Right, well, I better go back and do some work. Get rid of some of this shit. Lots and lots of shit. It was good fun. It was good fun pulling apart the lathe and seeing how it all worked. Um, like I say, it's on its way to the tip now. Not to the tip, to the scrappy. There's the, there's the base of it there. We're going on the next load. Until then, I shall see you all later. There's the motor out of the capstan lathe. The manual press here as well, which is actually quite handy. Don't think that'll go to the scrap. Try and save that one. Didn't take up too much space. The bender here, I wouldn't mind the bender. The bending brake, good old fashioned bending brake there. You can do a full width sheet, so 2400. Actually, you can do a bit more than that on that one. You can probably get 25, 2600 on that. Use that a lot, very handy. As was that old drill press there. She's an ancient looking thing, that one. This is the uh, Back in the guillotine. Look at these old welding units. <laughs> uh, they're like a couple of fucking Daleks. Classic. Years on these. No. Man, Australia. Hmm. Padstow, New South Wales. Nearly forgot this one. This is handmade as well. About 80 years ago. This is what the guy had to do for his, um, to pass his English engineering exam. So this has all been cast. We painted up. So it looks kind of like a lathe, so you'd put your your workpiece in there, and then you've got a grinding wheel here. So it did have a couple more motors on it than it's got now, but I think we chucked them before. Um, yeah, so all made by hand. Unbelievable what these old guys used to do. Now you just get it all from China, dirt cheap. Wouldn't even bother. It's a lost art. Oh, there's the motors down there. Two of them down there. Yeah, another very cool thing you could kind of use as a lathe. Whether it's accurate enough, I don't know. Anywho, better go do some work. See you later.